next night. I'm, uh, I think our game plan here is to cut the excess junk off the side of the frame and trim away the body so I can get the body channel down where I want or see how close I can get it to where I want. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there.
Well, we're slowly coming down. Like the back of the cab is kind of where I want it to be. But I want the rest of the body line, like the front's got to come down like another five. Kind of wanting the, uh, the door to almost follow the frame. Because right now it's kind of kicked up, so you can see this has to go down a few inches. So, from the inside it's following the sweep of the frame rail, but that's also not working for me. We need to uh, bring that down some more. So, what that entails is way more cutting. So we gotta cut out this inner structure. See, it's probably okay up to like here where that cross brace was, but we're gonna have to keep hacking away at the front until we get the front where I want. And then we'll have to build a new structure everywhere. So, not a big deal. <laughs> but there's a bit of effort yet. So I might bust out the plasma, it might be the quickest to get that going and then we can rebuild like that little triangle up in the front. We gotta carefully take that away so we, cause that's some of our, our structure to hold the car together. Same with this side, but we'll just make a new plate here and then when the firewall and all the other jazz goes in, that'll just make everything easier. Should be a comfy car when it's said and done. But I'll lift it up one more time. I gotta do a slice on the inside and then we'll just gradually cut away at this thing till I get the body sitting where I think it should sit. Yep. That is the plan. All right, we cleaned up a bit. I did all, I trimmed it a couple more times after the fact. I have it not bad, like you don't see the frame really. I don't know if I want the body to go past the frame. We'll see, it'll depend where my suspension's at. I'd love the truck to be lower than this yet, but um, the more I've been trimming away, the more I realize how cruddy these are and not really relevant to anything other than they'll just make a lot of noise. So I might trim it away. I don't know if that's what people do. Trim it away with the body and uh, just have this swing. I think in the end what I'm going to do is I'll probably have lake style headers on here and I'll probably have the cones coming down, kind of hiding that up and just kind of shooting exhaust down on the ground. I think and that's my plan. We'll see. But I think that's about as far as I'm going to get tonight. Uh, yeah, pretty happy so far. We kind of have our axle mocked up where I'd like to have my wheels. So it doesn't give me a lot of suspension travel. And I'm trying to keep, I don't know, I gotta, I might have to mock it up and roll it just so I can get a feel for how big the box is. Cause I don't want a really big box, but I don't want to go crazy either. I want it to be 
you know, semi-usable, not like a big kick up for no reason. I'm kind of overdoing that. <laughs> if I could make my box usable, that'd be kind of cool. So then, uh, yeah, the plan is to use a transverse spring. So I'm basically gonna flatten or move this cross member, do whatever I gotta do. But uh, yeah, I wanna keep this spring pretty level with the axle. I don't wanna have uh, any crazy droop or anything. And then the plan is just to do a two link up into the center section. So essentially that'll be my spring slash my pan hard and just a two link running to the front to run all my other stuff. Keep it super simple. And then like I say in here, I'm not sure if I'll channel it more yet or not. I got lots of room in the cab at this point. I'm hoping I can just keep all this X-frame stuff. We'll see how that transmission works. I'll have to mock it up with the motor just to see how things fit in here. But if it works out, I might not have to split the bones. I might be able to just leave it. We'll see. But again, depends how low I want to go. With this particular axle, you can't really drop it. You can, but you can't. <laughs> they, do, they do make, you can get a little bit of a drop out of them, but I've never dropped one of these. Maybe it'd be fun to try. But I think you only get like one or two inches, so I don't know if it's worth it. If I have to put the other... Uh, like a drop axle or something, then I'll have to split the bones and it'll fill in that area. I'll have my uh, my wishbones will mount up there and stuff. Anywho, I think that's where I am going to leave this one for tonight. Alrighty, well, kind of rolling it back to see how it looks. I like the wheel placement there. Uh, I could move and do whatever I need with that. But the rear just doesn't look right to me. It looks too far back. It's like, I don't know, I gotta scoot the cab back a little bit. I'm toying with the idea that I'm gonna leave the back because whatever I do in the front with the axle won't uh, matter too much of the shape of the rail. I can make it work. So, I think what I'm going to do is clean off whatever this junk is and kind of keep scooting my cab back. There's a particular truck that I'm kind of like eyeballing. If I can find a picture, I might just stick it in here for a second. That's kind of what a rough visual of what I'm trying to go with. So, I did find an article on that one and what that feller did is he had taken 10 inches out of the front and a foot out of the back of the box. So, I'm trying to get a feel for that where that sits. So even right now, as it is, my axle's a little further ahead than it should be, because you can tell by the bump stop where it's supposed to be. So I might be, I don't know. There's still plenty of travel. I like where the truck is sitting. I've probably channeled it a little more though. But then the second thing that occurred to me while I was farting around, trying to bash my disc brakes loose on this diff, is that if I got disc brakes in the back, I can't run disc drum brakes in the front. So, I do have this axle, not as crazy as this sounds. I'll give a little highlight. I bought this car. And uh, it came with all this stuff. And, well, because I'm kind of just building this to fart around with and probably blow away at some point. Hey, Pablo, want to keep it down there? So anyways, I bought it at all this stuff. And I'm not really a big fan myself of hairpins and stuff. I like 
a split bone front end myself, but so I got a bunch of stuff and a lot of it's stuff I don't like, but it's all new and it, it, it will work good. So I'm going to use this. I'm not sure if I'll use the drop axle yet. We'll see if I need it, but I might use this whole setup. It came with a set of hairpins for the rear and eh, whatever I got them. So I may as well use them, right? So that's kind of the plan. We're going to use all that junk together and it's really going to speed the process up of building this thing anyways. Because I don't have to buy anything because I've already bought it technically. So anyways, long story short, I'm going to scoot this motor back. or I'm going to clean the frame up some more, move the cab back some more, and then uh, see if I can get things where I like. See if I can make things look better. I'll probably just blindly shorten the box to whatever size and we'll see. Uh, hey, Pablo. Can you be any more noisy? Hey? Can you possibly be more noisy? Hey? Jay purse. All right. You gonna watch me uh, chop up this car? All right, let's get started. Well, I think the feller had it about right because that looks pretty good. You got to imagine, I don't know if you can see it, there's a line right at the back of the cab there. And then I have the other line doodled, so that's where the box, end of the box will be. So it still looks really plain, so you have to imagine that stake pocket. You can't see that line, but you got to imagine this pocket is to here. So there's actually something filling in the front and the back. Like back here, if you just cut it, you're missing all of this. So once this goes back, I think it's right because I want the wheel to fill this arch. Like clearly it'll go down lower, but so I'd like to get the cab at least channeled to the frame. Then we'll figure stuff out from there. So it's not terrible. The cab might have to go ahead a little bit, which is I'm okay with because that line is too darn close to the cab. So that could scooch ahead. I think because this stuff's all rotten, I'm just going to get rid of all of this. Because I'm going to either have my hairpins are going to come back here or something. Like, uh, whatever, my, yeah, hairpins, that's what's on there. They'll come back into here depending on the angle, but those are fully adjustable so I can adjust it. 
Interesting. Interesting. I don't think this X frame is going to work. I don't think so. Uh, what I should do is just bob the box, just cut those rails, and then we'll figure out how to straighten stuff after the fact. Uh, but at least it'll look right because I can kind of clamp it or just bolt it to the chassis for now. I dig it. Looks like it'll work. Cool. All right. Well, let's cut these so it sort of looks like a vehicle. Then I can kind of judge how far I want my cab to be, like how much space I'll have between the cab and the box. And I don't know. We'll see where we get from there. <laughs> This is all the planning process. Planning with no actual plan. We just kind of figure this out while we're going here. Not sure how I like it yet. <laughs> it almost seems a little too short in the back. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like it's a little longer in the front and then it's I'm almost feeling it's too short in the back, which is no big deal. I know people look at that and like, oh, you screwed up, no big da da da. It's not really a screw up. Cause if you think about it, I still have to splice this panel in there. That's why I wasn't worried about it because I got to get this curve in. So I was going to be cutting more of this panel off to do that. So if I don't like the length, I can add this on. I can make it how much longer I want. And it might be that it needs to be like three to four inches longer because it almost, I don't know, it's kind of messed up. Like it's perfectly centered in the wheel arch. You can tell by this. So depending on what I do, I always want to make sure that follows my wheel. The only dumb part about that is if you look, why wouldn't that be centered with the wheel? That seemed that's that seems so weird. Unless that's like a really weird OCD thing. <laughs> I mean, it sort of lines up, but it's it's like an inch off or something. It's kind of dumb. Anyways, this needs to go down regardless, so it'll it'll need a notch around the axle. And so I don't know. I think these boxes sat kind of low. I don't even know if they followed as low as the cab or what, but. They were usually excessively low. If I had a fender on it, it wouldn't be so bad, but. So the front is probably fine. I guess my cab can scoot just a little bit ahead. This looks okay. I don't think I want it any shorter. Maybe it's get too short. I don't know. What do you folks think? I think there should be a little bit more added to the back. I'm not too worried. It'll be a while before I actually get to that. I basically wanted to hack it all up and see what, it, what a feller would have for a box here. So it doesn't seem too bad, as you see inside. I'll probably be following the frame rail pretty much, which should give me enough tire clearance. I don't know how low I go. We'll determine that I have how useless my box is, but I don't know. I don't know why I have to always make my boxes work, but on a truck that's not practical for anything else. And like I say, where that hump is, almost feels like that's where my transmission would be. So I'm thinking this X frame is gonna come out. I'm gonna use it to come back and actually box the frame with it. And then I can build a new structure, tranny cross member, stuff like that through the middle. 
or maybe I can use it. I don't know. But it's kind of hard. I'm pretty sure my shifter is going to be right there. And then this front will be kind of weird. I guess if the motor clears the stuff, who cares? But I can tell like the oil filter, stuff like that will probably be in the way. I might just buzz the top off of that X-frame. Maybe bolt the motor up. And uh, just see what it looks like sitting in there. Because overall it's proportioned right. I'm not 100% sure if I like where the wheels are yet. So like I'm thinking this needs to come back a bit. But we will decapitate this uh, X-frame. I'll probably cut that trans cross member out. I won't be able to use that one anyway. So, and then we'll see where my transmission fits into there, whether it's uh, this X frame is a feasible thing. Well, I got to basically get that motor in and see if it is feasible anyway. So let's do that. It looks like I got a bunch of cutting to do. <laughs> As I thought, the X frame's not like terrible in the way, but it's in the way. So I guess we're just gonna cut out all of that junk. And uh, just so we can free up room for our motor and transmission. Because I'm having the car low, I gotta make sure nothing hangs below the frame, just so if I have to scrape. And it looks like I'm probably going to buy a kit though, one of those Zoomy kits, header kits from Speedway. Actually, no, I've never had Zoomies. I don't know. Kind of hit and miss now. Zoomies would suck because they're too loud, but I'd baffle them. Yeah, I don't know now. No. <laughs> motor's definitely got to come up. But regardless, motor's got to go down. It sits okay there. But let's level her out. The axle's like, I think it's actually right. That's the messed up part. I think because there's no exhaust, there's nothing filling this up. I'm just not sure of this gap yet to figure that out. Well, I gotta put a bar on here. I'm gonna roll this sucker back and have a look at our contraption that we kind of fiddled with here. See how I like it. We got to do a little parting shot like that, eh? <laughs> kind of mock it together. <clears throat> I have the axle sitting right on the frame, but I think if I do the drop axle and stuff, it'll be here or even maybe a little bit lower. So I don't know how much lower I want to get the truck. 
I mean, I would love it to be really low, but if you've seen our roads out here, they're complete crap. I'll probably channel it just so you can't see the frame. So another inch or so. I think that'll be the plan. And then I'm still kind of hit and miss on the box. It looks a little short in the back. Yeah, you can totally see it. Like it totally needs a little more yay much or something. We'll figure it out when we get there. But uh, I think next step is going to be just cutting all that junk out in the middle so I can kind of make room for the motor and stuff. Nothing really fits right now. I chopped away a little bit of it so the motor and trans fits in there better. But uh, I'm not opposed to the motor sitting up higher. That's not a problem to me, but well, mind you, it looks like really nice there. It's just uh, the bell housing is pretty much just sitting on the cross member right now. <laughs> that doesn't work out so well. I guess if I wanted to solid mount it, it'd be fine. But uh, yeah, the grill shell's starting to grow on me. Ugh, well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> It makes cool wall art. I don't know about it being on a vehicle. At least the lower parts there. If I fill this in and make a, a top for it, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I think that's where I'm going to leave this one. So, as always, folks, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.